This is Asher Kanun with Pulse Secure Technical Marketing, and today we're going to ask the question, uh, is the VPN that's built into or bolted onto firewalls good enough? Um, so as we know, uh, most firewalls uh, sit at the edge, and when you're talking remote access, um, you know, we, we're trying to access it from outside, so we're going to be going through the edge. We're going to be going through the firewall. And a lot of times we look at deployments where there's an existing firewall and we always get the question, well, why shouldn't I just use the VPN functionality that's built into the firewall? And we're going to look at that today. So let's talk about uh, the various um, protected resources that you would have on-prem, right? So you would have, let's say, a couple different uh, resources. This one is going to be used by, let's say, employees, engineering, and then this one's going to be used by, uh, let's say, uh, customers, partners. Um, it, this could be suppliers, just a bunch of different uh, folks that are outside of the organization that want to use that. Now, with the VPN functionality, that's usually IPsec that's built into firewalls. Uh, one of the things you'll know is um, if I have a laptop or a mobile device, I would have to have a client. So I would, you know, either uh, in some cases you can use some native supplicant that's built in or you would need a client. Uh, and a lot of times um, your employees might have uh, the client that they would want to install. Um, or if you're looking at these other folks, so let's say we have um, a bunch of devices. These can belong, like we said, these are... Uh, Customer devices, partners, suppliers, contractors, uh, you know, just uh, folks outside of your organization where you wouldn't uh, be able to install a client. If you had to do a compliance check, that's another thing that might fail uh, the, the connectivity. Uh, another thing is if you had certificate-based auth. So cert-based auth would be another uh, thing that you won't be able to do here, right? Uh, one of the things that we're also um, talking about is, let's say you have a firewall for some devices. You also have an MDM gateway. Um, so MDM gateway for, uh, let's say you have some uh, BYOD device. So uh, there's BYOD. These are corporate owned. So these are corp. These are uh, BYOD. You would have one policy here, one policy here. You'd be managing multiple policies, multiple licenses, multiple appliances. You'd have multiple clients on these devices. Um, so when we're looking at it in this perspective, uh, there's an end user problem where they might not know what they want to use or how to connect to certain things. Uh, there might be uh, issues where uh, you just can't install everything on other people's devices. You can't do compliance checks. There are different issues that arise when you're trying to use the um, kind of the built-in bolt-on uh, connectivity. So what happens if I choose to go with um, Connect Secure? The, so that's our the VPN product, Connect Secure. Um, some of the things listed here we can accomplish on one device using one client. So uh, we can do client-based connections. Um, so we have clients for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, Linux. We can also do um, Pulse Workspace connections. So Pulse Workspace is another one of our products that can connect to uh, PCS. So let's, let's exchange this with PCS and talk about what can actually happen there. So we can make those connections, various clients. For the people that don't have clients, like the contractors and suppliers, we can also do a uh, client, clientless connection. So the clientless connection is where they would actually connect to uh, basically uh, using their browser, they would connect into PCS, and from there they would have access to just the things they need. So it's a partner, customer, supplier, they need access to this protected resource, they would only be able to connect to that. Right? So we have uh, client-based connections, we have clientless-based connections. Uh, we also do um, RDP brokering using HTML5, uh, from the clientless connection. So if there are other machines, let's say there's some manufacturing uh, 
uh, machine here. This is like a Windows, you know, Windows 7 box. That's somebody who's out here doing manufacturing support. He needs to connect. We can actually have them connect to the browser and from the browser RDP here from any machine without needing any plugins or anything. So uh, we have um, HTML5, RDP brokers. We can also do uh, SSH. We can also do Telnet all over the browser. So these are some of the options for connecting. Right? We have something called SAM, which is for applications. So if I have certain applications and I just want those applications to connect and then use the tunnel, um, we can also deploy SAM. We have uh, SDKs and APIs. So the SDK and API uh, can be used for desktop uh, applications. It can be for mobile applications. That way if you have custom apps that you want to use and you don't want to have to deploy you know, the VPN client or anything, you want to make it as simple as possible for the end user, you can do that. So there are different ways to connect. These are all the different ways to connect to uh, Pulse Connect Secure. And a lot of these aren't available when you're trying to use the little bolt-ons that uh, firewall providers have. They're just not sufficient. The other thing is if you look at our uh, rewriting capabilities in Connect Secure, if you have a lot of different apps that need to be running here, our rewriter is the one that's going to be able to basically handle it the best way. Things are going to work. Functionality is going to be there. You don't have to worry about that. One of the other things that we uh, also talk about is compliance, right? The way we do our uh, sign-in and login policies and everything, we can set up different types of compliance. We can set up different types of authentication uh, for each one of these groups. So your employees um, that are connecting our corporate devices, they can use, uh, let's say, a password plus cert. If you're doing BYOD, you can have, let's say, password plus token. And if you're uh, in one of these areas, you can just do um, passwords. And we can set that all up on a single appliance uh, managed by one person and give you all the granularity to know what device it is, know who the, who the person is, know what state the device is in, right? A lot of this functionality you will not find on one single firewall that has basically minimal features. Um, you know, these integrated security appliances, they try to do uh, the minimum and try to do good enough across the board. If you really want something enterprise grade that gives you the flexibility to, do, to deploy however you want and just manage one single box, it's really a good idea to learn more about uh, Connect Secure. You can do that by going to www.pulsesecure.net. And if you want to see a demo, we'd be more than happy to do it. Just reach out. Thank you.